Okay, so let me talk about uh, the best shielding. Uh, I already done it, but there's a more rigorous proof. Uh, let's just consider the uh, hydrogen and the electron scenario. So the so Gauss's law expression will, will look like this. So delta square phi equals to two uh, negative four pi q delta r plus e in, uh, n i minus n e. That's the background. That's the background charge. So ion density, electron density, and this is uh, is a test charge placing at uh, placing at uh, zero. So yeah, you can you can you can. You can see that that's a that's a test charge. Um, yeah, that's a uh, that's a delta function, and uh, we we have uh, we, we can assume that the the electron and ion are in the Boltzmann distribution. By by Boltzmann distribution, I mean the the energy the electric electric energy is e, is uh, dis distributed by. In, by by the thermal by the thermal diffusion, that both those two, this, those two different potential, those different two different energy are competing with each other. So, if we impose a quasi neutrality, e e phi over t less than much less than one, we can just take the first order, uh, first uh, first two first order of this, basically one plus e phi over t, one minus e phi over t. And then plug it in here, and we wound up having this expression. So this is this, this is this, adding, adding to the adding to the the Boltzmann distribution with with assumption of a quasi neutrality. And then we assume the assume the uh, we take the spherical coordinate, and we assume the whole. Uh, the whole dist the, the distribution is spherically symmetric, so there's no phi or state of dependence. So those two terms might not become zero. So we only have this term, plug it back in here, we end up having this expression. Let's define a, define a parameter lambda d, which you will see what it is in the future, uh, in, uh, pretty uh, soon later. Uh, square root t over four pi n naught e square, and you can try to you can prove it, but I will just express such way one over r d two uh, d d square over d d r square r phi equals to one over r square d d d r r square d phi d r. You can just you know expand it on both sides and uh, can see if this if is matched from left to the right. So we plug it back in, plug all this, these things in here. So this become this, here it is. And this doesn't change from here to here. And this, we have, we define this like that. So then this become, this thing become two, two phi over lambda d squared. So the solution, let me just tell you that the solution will be phi equals to q, q over r exponential exponential negative square root 2 r over r uh, lambda d. So the solution, the solution can be ch checked relatively simply by just plug this into here. So the left hand side, you plug it in, it's this. This is the delta function right here. Is the is the is the it's basically the same thing, but to add another delta lambda lambda d square. As you can see, when r is not zero, then this match, and when r is is zero, then we can consider this as a singularity because that's a test particle. Yeah, that's that's how it works.